Now we'll start with the obi. Again, fold it in half with this part facing upwards over the left shoulder, coming around the body, around, and after you've made one rotation, pull down to make sure that it evens on the top. Come around again. If you'd like, you can open it up slightly on the inside. Keep coming around. Take both sides and tighten. Now here, you're going to flip up with one hand. What this does is it protects the obi. You can tie it through, of course, into a knot, but eventually it weakens the cords or the threads and it's not good for the obi. So I have here a loop on one side. I'm going to put through one of these cords and pull. And this will just help keep things in place while I position the makura. You can either leave this on or take it off afterwards. It's called kari himo, or temporary cord. Okay, with the part that's remaining, we take our makura with the high side at the top, find a place that looks good, and then we're going to wrap this over top. This is quite a short obi, so it's difficult for this to come up underneath in here, so we want to make sure this is too long, this is too short. Ideally, this is about maybe four centimeters longer than the bottom part. So you can lower the makura and try and go here as much as possible. Get a good grip on it and come around with your right hand, smooth this down, and feel underneath to find the makura, holding on to it. Come and put it on your back. The higher the better. Okay? Here you're going to find your makura cord. And be sure, notice I'm still bending over. Gravity helps me at this point until the makura is really in position. It's important to get the makura very tight. Okay, again, these we'll just put aw away for the moment and we'll fix in a moment. So here I have the long part. If you find that this part is too short, at this point you can wiggle it down. Conversely, if it's too long with this part of the obi on top, taking the outside edge, outside you can lift it up to the right position. Then flip it down. With this part that's here, we're going to turn it around so that it's facing upwards. And notice there's a place where the motif ends. At that point, we fold it backwards. And then we're going to pass it underneath and pinching the upper part, wrap the obi around. In this case, this part of the obi is quite short. Depending on the size of the wearer, we want about one finger length from the bottom here to the bottom of the taiko. Um, so if you find that your taiko is too short or not secure enough here to tie it, you have another option, which is simply to let it go down here and tie it through here at the bottom this way. So in any case, today we'll do it this way. Passing my hand through. Again, left over right and under and tighten left hand makes a loop, the right side goes through, tied into a knot, can do one up and one down, depending, and then this is tied, again, one third in, one third in, and fold in half, temporarily place it here, one third in, one third in, one half, fold over, left over right and under and tie on the bias straight
tie in and tuck into the OB. So it's out of sight.